I don't want to be known for someone that like tries to have this material success. I want to be known for somebody that has eternal significance. And there's so many parallels, I think, to sports and to the Christian faith. Loving the people around you, loving your brothers, laying down your life for each other. That's what I want to be known for, someone that, that loved people and cared about people um, above myself. So that's success to me. It's great. I have awesome support um, back to home from my family, uh, my wife, and I'm sure they'll be coming up to some games and uh, come cheer me on. I think I still have the same mentality. Um, you know, even though I'm the name of starter right now, I'm still going to come in and fight every day. Like, uh, my job depends on it. So I'm going to come out and compete, try to make myself better as well as the team. Shield out, sets, he wants Harris. He looks downfield for Harris in the end zone. Knocked away, intercepted by Ryan Kaiser. And the Nittany Lions end it with a turnover in the end zone. It was absolutely amazing. It was just a really incredible feeling to just sit in the stands on a Saturday um, and watch your husband play. And I can remember when I was a kid playing uh, tailgate football with my, my brother and my cousin, just throwing outside the stadium, just imagining you know, what it would be like to play for Penn State someday. I, I just never imagined you know, what that you know, could have turned out like. How's it feel to get this win? Oh, it's awesome. We're going to enjoy it for a little bit and uh, move on to next week. Intercepted by Penn State. Picked off by Ryan Kaiser, his second of the ball game, and that will do it. You know, it's, it's crazy coming out here every week and playing in front of these guys. Um, so, I mean, senior year, it's going to be great. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. I mean, it's been his dream since he was little to play. So it was really cool just to be able to watch him fulfill that. Just to watch him chase his dream. I had wanted to go to the NFL right after my senior year, but we just don't know when stuff's gonna happen. And when it does, we need to be we need to be confident like you know about our life. Penn State football suffering two season-ending injuries within the last week. The first came Thursday. Senior safety Ryan Kaiser fractured a rib at practice that resulted in a tear in his bowel. The practice before the Ohio State game, um, he just got an elbow to the ribs and he thought he got the wind knocked out of him, so he just kind of tried to catch his breath, kept playing, and realized there's something more to it. He couldn't get his breath back. I suffered a, a blow to my small intestine, to my my stomach area or my abdomen area. They, his trainer called me and said, hey, we're on the, our way to the ER. Once they got him in, they were monitoring his vitals and his heart rate was spiking. So the nurse was like, we need to get him into emergency surgery. So he was actually sedated for about five days. There was actually a moment where I almost, I almost passed away, I almost died. Just knowing, you know, coming out of that, you know, kind of freaks you out, but knowing it, that I'm right with God, that if I die, like I know where I'm going. That whole time I had peace. My wife was able to have peace through that situation. It was just, it was tough 
to watch him because there wasn't anything I could really do at that point. I suffered that injury my senior year, which was a huge setback. Like I said, I lost about almost 50 pounds, um, which, <laughs> you know, when you play football, you can't lose that much weight. Ryan's family has our complete support. I've talked to his mother, I've talked to Ryan. Um, our, our, our trainers and doctors have been in constant contact or have been involved every step of the way. We're there for him, we're praying for him, and uh, we know he's going to come back better than ever. I had just worked my way up the ladder, so this was a really brutal injury for me because I had to go, you know, start over again basically and work my way back up. After that injury, NFL was kind of like out the door for that moment, so another avenue that opened up with ministry. My freshman year, I started reading my Bible for the first time in my life. When I was a sophomore, I ended up um, giving my life to Jesus and getting water baptized. From that point on, like, I was just living for God. So that was always really important to me to, like, show people, you know, how much I cared about Him, you know, how much God cares about Him. God always stays the same, and Jesus never changes. Um, so, you know, you can have these ups and downs in life and football, whatever goes on, but, you know, my eyes are always focused on, on Christ and what He did for me. I got a part of this group called Victory Christian Fellowship, and it blew my mind. I never knew there would, you know, there could be other guys my age, like, following Jesus and, and being Christians and actually living out their faith. It's something I didn't see in high school. And then my, my senior year after my injury, um, I started doing Bible studies with a couple other football players. There was a guy on my team, he was a walk-on as well. Um, I got to play part of his salvation and his water baptism. And after that happened, I just, you know, I went home and prayed and I was like, God, I wanna see more of this. Like, I wanna have an impact on, on college students just like someone else had on me. And that was really like the turning point for him when he saw like the impact that he could have on other students. He was like, wow, this is what I want. This is really what I feel God calling me to do. After that moment, I was like, man, I want to go into ministry. But after you graduate, you, you get to do what's called Pro Day, and that's putting on a show for the scouts, basically. It's jumping, running, you know, see how well you test. You know, I wanted to go in the NFL specifically um, to share, you know, my faith um, and have a bigger platform. And also, you know, because I love football too. So I spent the next year training and, you know, getting healthy. And I actually tested better in every test than I would have the year before, which was really cool. Because of that, I ended up getting a tryout with the Baltimore Ravens. I got to go down there for a weekend at what's called Rookie Minicamp. Mini um, so I got to you know, be on the team for a little bit. I got to do a, a full weekend with the Ravens, which was a blessing, and I took advantage of the opportunity that I had. Having a son really has painted a, a really cool picture for me of how much God loves me. Because I love my son more than anything. Like, I, I can't even describe to you how much I love my son. And the cool thing is he hasn't done a thing for me. Like, I'm just pleased with him because he's my son. And it's the same way, you know, in my relationship with God. Like, God's pleased with me because I'm his son. God just loves me and he's proud of me because, because I'm his kid. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a really cool picture and it changes the way you think about, about God when you have a kid something I learned being a leader on the team. It wasn't about always being the best player, but being the best servant that I could be and you know, be, having an impact on others. Pursuing uh, an NFL football career was a part of my definition of success, and I had that opportunity to try, to try out, and I, I could have pursued it more. Um, it's just not something that I wanted to pursue because you know, I'd have to up and move my family all over the place. It's just not something that, that I cared about as much as I, as I used to. I believe 
um, going in the NFL and or in full-time ministry is both ministry to me. Like, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, I'm gonna be in ministry. I just have a full-time ministry position right now. Um, obviously, I want, I want to give my life to God and, and serve Him in ministry. I'm so happy, like, to do it. Um, but it's definitely, like, not easy, you know, all the time. It's, it's, it's a sacrifice for me and, and for my family. As a wife, I really want to support him and what he's called to do. And the same for him, he wants to really support me as a, as a wife and what I want to do. With my time as a football player, there's a lot of things that I can take into my life um, in ministry. One of them being uh, just discipline and hard work. Um, because in ministry, it's not like you slack off. It takes a lot of hard work and a lot of self-discipline because there's not always someone you know, standing over your back like making sure you do stuff. I want to be known as a guy that's all into his faith. And just that, you know, that I was someone that followed Jesus with his whole heart and, and gave everything that he had to him and wasn't half in, half out. Yeah. That's definitely something I want to teach my son is like, you know, it's not always about being a starter. All this material stuff, it's not coming with us. You know, I'd rather you be significant and have an impact on people um, than be successful, you know, in the world's eyes.